Hello, welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. Um, it's not the weekend, and you're probably wondering why I'm doing this instead of my regular constructed. Well, truth be told, I did a check of what all the cards I had, and I'm actually quite short on playables. Well, I do have... Well, let's show you this one here. I do have quite a bit of wild cards, but not as many, and if I'm going to go through this and do the 10 2 color decks eventually, this is not enough. I'm not planning to spend money unless I absolutely have to, and that's a bit of a stretch, so I figured while well, we're still doing Dominaria, because I have at least two decks that mi are missing playables from, from, from those, I could do Mono Green, that one is missing some playables. I could also do Mono Black, that one's also kind of missing some playables. So, with that said, I'm hoping to get some of these playables from here. Mono Blue is kind of from M19. The mono red is kind of M19 also. So we're just gonna cash this in and... Right off the bat, I don't get what I want in... Actually, I could use one of this in the sideboard, but... Let's just take Torgar instead. I like this better. We could... We're probably gonna at least do black-green if we do take this guy. Nothing else quite interesting. No removal. Song of Rayleigh is... Inter it's interesting, but this does shunt us in the sap. Well, to be fair, this also puts us in saplings as well. But let's give Torgar a chance at least. And I guess we can try going saplings. We do have Spore Crown Talid. Do I like this better than Mending of Dominaria? Yes. Oh yeah. Speaking of playables, I could use Divest, but let's do the Spore Crown. Let's see if we can draft saplings. And okay, not quite saplings. There's a Vicious Offering and a Baylot Gorger. This is the case of um, why... Okay, I'll do a demonstration of why drafting what you need is not a good idea. Well, I can just draft the Baylot Gorger here. Because I do need this for my Mono Green later. Uh, I will take the Stronghold Confessor because this one's quite good. And... Okay, we're getting some of the, some of the stuff along the way. T Talid Omnivore. We're going to prioritize some um, Saprolings if we can. Otherwise, we can... Prioritize other stuff, like say this rat colony over here. We did pass one, we might get it on the wheel back. I'll take the Crows and Druid this time. Okay, another Talid Omni. Wait, there's a Gift of Growth. There's also another Stronghold Confessor. Do I want more Stronghold Confess? Well, because this one's more annoying in the long run than this guy. We also don't necessarily have the pay payoffs just yet, so I'll take the. Omnivore first. Yeah, I'll take the Sparring Construct. At least that's something we can sacrifice quite cheap. Mammoth Spider is actually quite good here because if we run into something like White Blue Flyers, we're in real trouble. Pierce the Skies on the sideboard. We didn't get the... We didn't get the Rat Colony back. We do have a Primordial Worm at least. That's a big... That's one big boy. And the Cabal Evangel. So... <laughs> I guess we're doing... I guess we're doing Josu Vess again. Hello there. Well, let's take... Well, it's a shame we're passing the seal away. Sheevan Fire, Blink of an Eye. They're decent, but not that great compared to this. Still not going to run Chainer's Torment. I could use the Elfheim. It will help the Kicker here, Kicker here, and... Actually, Kicker here. Actually, I have a lot of stuff with Kicker. Let's take the Elfheim Druid. Definitely want the Saperling Migration because we're going for the Saperling subplot. Verdant Force is a bit too expensive and we're not quite into ramp just yet. I'll probably take the Ancient Animus because it is it is kind of removal. No, it is removal actually. Do I want the third Confessor? I think I'll take the Adventurous Impulse. It might help us shave off a few lands. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm probably going to see the Knight of New Benalia or the Skirk Prospector or even the Unwind Bat. I'm going to take Grun because that's one card I do not want to use a wild card on. Take another Ancient Animus. I guess we'll take the Fungal Infection. It This one's also this one also generates some Sapperlings. Lanor Envoy is okay. Blessing of Bells and Lock is also a... This is a bit combat trick at least. We are short on the tree drop slot, so I guess I'll take that. We'll take the Demonic Vigor, but I'm probably not going to run it. 
I'll take the divest. I might actually run it or I might not. We already have a primordial worm. I'm not too keen on the second one. Likewise, we have three four drops, so I'm not too keen on Gaia's protector either. And I'm definitely not keen on the second one. Oh, okay, this one helps in the mono red at least. Oh yeah, scared prospectors there. Okay, has m I really want to get um, dual lands. The these guys are universally useful, especially with um, Ravnica Allegiance upcoming. I have one Bailout Gorger. I could use a second one though. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Greed is good. Mm, I get punished likewise, but Dark Bargain four mana. Not too keen. I guess I will take the Tempest Jin if we're gonna do rare drafting. Okay, rare drafts over. I'll take the Death Bloom Talid this time. Okay, Caligo Skin Witch helps nice with Kicker. We could use a second Omnivore, I guess. Definitely not taking Urgoros, I guess. Let's see what. Check our two drops. Okay, let's assume we're not running Rat Colony. So we got Evangel, Elfheim, 1, 2, 3. Okay, 4 virtual 2 drops. We could use more. I think we'll take the Skin Witch. I really don't want to run the Evangel if I don't have to. I will take the Fungal Plots. Oh, I could use this, but this is much better for us. Okay. We'll take the second Adventurous Impulse. or the, We'll take the Gift for Growth. Gift of Growth. And Calgo Skin, which never did us wrong. I'm taking the second one. And ditching the Evangel. Memorial to Unity is is quite good in tutoring one of our creatures here. Probably want that over another Adventurous Impulse. I'll take that. So do I want another Yeah, we could use some tree drops. I think we have enough combat tricks already. Between the fungal infection, the gift of growth, one, two, two. Three, four. We have no hard removal. That's uh, something that scares me. I guess we're just going to go to creature plants. I'm going to take another Cross and Druid. Uh, no more Scout. Go go Goblin War Chief. I think we'll just take the War Chief. Because I'm not going to run the Scout. I might run the Ooze. I definitely. I might even run the Arbor Armament too. So. I have way too many home homebred explorers at this point. Nature Spiral. I guess I could use it to buy something back, but nah. So, yeah, actually not too bad. Just need to make four cuts. Probably three of them will be creatures. We'll definitely keep it. So, the Envoy's a week one. Let's check our curve. So, three, four, five. Our six drops are a bit on the high side. I'll cut one of the worms. So we have at least Grun and Torgar to run to. So we're gonna try to get a lot of these guys to die early. Oh. Then, so we're leaning. We're kind of leaning hard on this one. Maybe drop the adventurous impulse. Keep the sparring construct. Sapling Migration is also a virtual creature, so that's okay. I guess we can cut one more creature at this point. Uh, I guess we'll cut from the four. No, I kind of want all the four drops. If I cut from the two drop slot, it'll probably be the Corrosive Ooze. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. So not the greatest of decks, but we did get a... F well, one, two... We got two juicy... We, we got some juicy rares at least, so can't complain too much. So, a bit greedy on my part here. I guess there are times I could have taken more removal. Probably should have prioritized those, but let's see if we can make do with this one. My only weak spot would be the lack of actual hard removal. No eviscerates, no, no cast downs. So I get to run... I guess I'll run this one. Turn one sparring construct, turn two spore crowd talent. 
So we have a sort of a plan. Then we can fungal plots as soon as we sacrifice all these guys. I need to check my mana. I keep forgetting to do that. need to check that we actually have enough. I think I might have overloaded. Okay, there's our first black mana source. Opponents aren't having a slow run here. Not not like we're quite not like we're fast either. Okay, opponent's playing green red. Burn. Okay, he's got the burn, but he hasn't demonstrated anything else. So I guess we're doing Stronghold Confessor turn. Turn four. Well, thankfully the Spore Crown Talent is an side strat. It's a strategy, but it's not. Well, we don't actually have a main strategy here either, so we might be in trouble likewise. Okay, so our opponent can block. So let's watch him double block. Okay. So he gets that out of the way. We're kinda a long way long ways off from getting Josu Vest down. Cons he's also approaching fiery intervention mana, so that scares me too. You know what? Let's just make it now. Cause I don't exactly have a use for these two. I have no ways of bringing them back. So I get two saprolings. So end the turn. Let's We'll see what our opponent does. If he drops a single big creature, I will go for Joseph Vest. Dropping a gilded lotus, so Okay. Guess we're not I guess I'm not gonna dr rush to drawing a card. Triple green, Yavimaya Sap herd, let that resolve. can safely pass. Gift of growth. Hmm, we can catch one unaware. So next, next, all attack. Let's see how he blocks. Blocks that, blocks that. Hmm. No need no need to kick it I guess. So not tr definitely not tricking that out. And yeah, let's go for Josu Vest now. We're a long ways off. We don't exactly have a gilded lotus. Let's watch our opponent burn this guy with fiery intervention. But even if he does, that means we we still get to ch chip in further. Opponent has nine mana though. Fight with oh no, no mammoth spider. So no fight with fire just yet. Also can't quite get through. Marwin the Nurturer. So we could at least... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One more mana. Wait, we don't have any... I guess I could wait a little bit. Actually, the 10 life is a, might be unnecessary too. It looks like we're both kind of... Well, he still has one more card. Four, five. He has 10, so it's not fight with fire. He would have pulled it off right now if he did. kind of wish I didn't plug this gift of growth immediately. Okay. Sylvan Awakening. So these are indestructible lands. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay. So 
go down to six. No caution druid, but at least I have a mammoth spider. And does he have a second Sylvan Awakening? That's scary. That said, I'm just gonna attack anyway. If he has a second one, I can't really do anything about it. Okay, I'm hoping for. S also a bit premature. He did lose this. Okay. Oh, he he kind of. Okay, so very pre very premature. Pony can block that, sure. Okay. Well, I can't complain about what I'm getting, so let's leave it. I'm keep holding the sparring construct back this time. It's got menace. You're going to have to. Yeah. Not ideal. Let's hope. Okay, that's. I guess that's it. Our. We. I would have, I would have much liked to have the extra land to be able to kick Cross and Druid, but we survived. We did reasonably well. I think our opponent might have pulled the Sylvan Awakening a bit early. Actually, no. I don't think there's anything he could have done. Maybe he could have waited for us to do an Alpha Strike, then he can catch us in the back, back for the win. But he was getting to the. He was getting to the point where he's taking a lot of damage. So I'm definitely keeping this because I can at least sapling migration for two. Earlier I read the Facebook post about someone complaining, Oh, I only got one one land for eight turns straight. Which kind of meant he kept a one lander. And usually the idea of keeping lands is not... Oh. Actually, uh, she's more like... If your plan to... If your plan for the next turns is, I need to draw this much, I need to draw lands. If that's the first thing you're thinking of, that's probably not a good plan. Here, at least I had the sapling migration, so I had one option with armor armament backup. So at least I'm doing something. Still scary though. Well, I'm gonna play the Cross and Druid. Kicker be damned. This does not untap, but it does gain reach, so we'll leave it at that. It's got a counter, so... But we'll save it for something that we're probably not going to sacrifice to fungal plots in the future. Opponent's white-red, so he's probably going quite aggro. We can't... I can actually sacrifice all this to get Torgar now. There. Because there is blessed light, so that's okay. I guess I'm not because. No, I'm not sacrificing that one. I guess I can do Caligo. Yeah, I guess I'll do Caligo because I want to keep. Because I'd rather kick the stronghold. Conf I can kick this one much earlier. So at least we have a 3 4 druid. We got rid of our opponent's board points. Tishar. Okay, this has flying but not first strike. Hmm. Probably play, play the Elfheim druid and the strong. So next. Definitely swing. I'll play the Elfheim Druid because I need to start kicking stuff. Yeah, hold the Stronghold Investor. Stranded on mana, opponent doesn't have that problem yet. I'm waiting for the fiery intervention to come. On Sarah's wings. Okay, he's gonna get one guy back. So Vigilance Lifelink flying. No no first strike, so that's a bonus. So our opponent can kinda catch up. Yeah, it's gonna hold that back. I would, I would just throw I just throw sapling in front of it. 
Still missing. Put a plus one, plus one if it's legendary. That's not legendary. Fights target creature and opponent controls. He will gain tree life, but... I won't ever have to deal with it again. Then I can swing with these guys safely. Is he thinking of a way to pump this? It's red. Okay, he gained his life back. So next... He's gonna shock this one, I think. Sheev and fire. Yep, there comes the Sheev and fire. That's okay. I don't have the fungal plots now, but I have ammunition, so I guess I'll just swing with these guys. Let's keep ho let's hold the confessor back. I guess I can Torgar safely now. He does have quite a bit of life. Okay, let's Fire Elemental. Torgar's bigger. Yeah, Torgar's bigger. Okay, mm. I have options here. I need mana to start sacking with this though. So, I could keep this one at least. He needs Blessed Light to deal with it. Just sacrifice two creatures. Then nuke this nuke this guy down back down to ten. So let's see if we have if our opponent has to nope, another fire element. Can't exactly trade. Can I? Ten. No, that it will kill both of them. It's, it's a straight trade at this point. Actually, you know what? One, two, three, four. So I'll just hold this guy back. I'll send this guy. If, if he's forced to double block, I can at least take one with me. If he double blocks Torgar, I can take both. Ancient Animus means I can answer one just fine. Ooh, he's going for it. He knows if I... He has a combat trick. Because I can aff... Ferex Blade Wing. It's okay. So, still no mana, but... It's also untapped, so we'll end the turn there. We can eat one, sacrifice the Elf Haim Druid. I should probably draw land at that point. And to be safe. So he still has blockers. Still in a precarious position. Still could. I'm, I'm just surviving off tree mana. This is ridiculous already. I'm gonna swing with both. He's forced to block this. He's forced to block one. He'll go down to four. I have to be careful also. There, I don't think there's a lava axe variant, but I have to assume there is. So I'm literally just throwing creatures under the bus right now. He's gotta have creatures or else he would have conceded at this point. Radiating lightning. Yeah, he was a, he was hoping to get me with that. Well, he sh well, at least I'm thankful for him showing that one. Yeah, two... Two life is close to way too close to the edge for comfort. So we're definitely gonna keep pushing on. Two wins, n no losses just yet. Well, we've only played two games, so what can I expect?
Well, I'm getting a good handle over this deck. It's starting to look more like just Golgari good stuff. Nothing wrong with that, per se. So... We have at least a turn one plan. I really should check out what my mana distribution is. This is starting to look awfully funny. Anyway, I'll keep this... I'll keep this one. Probably gonna lose... As soon as I lose my first game... Okay, at least our opponent uh, mulled one. We really need to check that ma mulled two. Okay, it's not a total wash for our opponent. It might be a total wash for us if we... So this is a case where even if your situation is bad, don't give up quite yet. Because your opponent might have might have bigger problems than you do, despite what he kept. No, to be fair, we survived off three lands in the Crows and Druid for quite a long time. Well, we did draw our third land, so it's not a complete wash. We do need the Black Source soon, though. Also quite a bit quite funny. Facebook group, um oh green black Samir. Uh, Let's send the sparring construct to its death. Yeah. At least just buff it a bit, but I'm starting to think my mana mix is wrong at this point. Let's investigate. We should... Worst case is 8 swamps, but... We have way too much early game. I sh we should actually have more swamps than forest at this point. Well, there's a swamp. So... Let's see. If I swung with both... If I swung with this guy, he might block with these two. Hmm. Let's, let's test this out. If he blocks with the Talon and the Sapphire, I'm not gonna do anything. I'll just cast the creature again. If he blocks with that, though... Well, it's kind of... So we managed to get parity in there, at least. Actually, shit. So our opponent's gonna go wide at this... Gonna go tall at this point. Maybe Need to start respecting that at least. It's also holding up one mana, so that's. We also don't have hard removal. That's enough, doesn't, so it doesn't even matter. So options. I could just play my own talent omnivore, and we can play the omnivore waiting game. <coughs> I do feel like my our opponent has a bet. Might have the better sapling deck. He got all the cards I read. I I wanted. Sap herd. Voltani. Okay, we might. We're probably not gonna win this. Uh, let's not. Cause he can buy it back. Hold on. Three, five, seven. I'm gonna swing with this guy now. If he tries to block it, he, he knows what to expect. Okay, five, six. So that's okay. I'm gonna throw two creatures away. So I lose two creatures, he loses three. He has a 6-6 six, six I have to worry about, but at least the board's kind of open. <coughs> Shield of the Realm, so at this point, I'm going to ignore Multani at, at this point. It's a real race. Corrosive Ooze. Okay, so I'm going to ignore Multani at this point. It's just... For Caligo Skin Witch. I'll just kick it. Though. So 
So three, six, seven. Need blocks. Yes, I expected that. So it actually gets eight damage through. I might have to start playing Caligo skin, which is just to have something to sack. Okay, opponent has a blocker, so we're not getting through this turn. Okay, take the damage. I might just swing with Stronghold Professor to f at least get the Corrosive Ooze out of the way. For armament, that's something. So, definitely play the Caligo Skin Witch first. Let's have something to block later. See how he decides. We might just we might yeah the plan is to basically ignore Motani. Okay, so three, six. Yeah, that's fine. So tab, make indestructible, that's okay. Next. His next swing will be for like six or seven, so we can still survive that. So my next plan is to just block one of these two guys. Yavi Maya Sap here. Okay, he's got even more blockers now. It take us a while to get there. Yeah, correct place to blo block with just that. Okay, it can still take six. So, kind of need one more mana to at least get Josu Vess. Give our opponent something to think of. We have no more life to gain at this point. Okay, got our black. Definitely playing Josu Vess. So here's the thing. He has to block the Confessor. He has to block the Talid Omnivore. Wait. Next. Next. Okay, so one, two, three. Let's see how he... So if I send these three, these get blocked. Let's see how he fig let's see how he does the combat math here. He's blocking with that one. He's blocking that. He has to double block this. Oh no. Arbor armament for the for the win! We, we we slipped one. He tried to get greedy by blocking the Caligo skin witch. Whoops. We. That was a. That play was literally out of nowhere. So what are the playables I was missing? Basically, it's a lot of the kicker stuff. A lot of the kicker stuff from green. I was, I'm actually missing a bunch of divests from Dominaria and I really should check. But that one I had no plan. This one I, I'll keep now. It's also possible I've, I've just been unlucky at this point. But I'll definitely keep... Okay, definitely keeping that one. So we got a turn 2 Caligo Skin Witch. Turn, t turn 3 Croson Druid. Turn for Baylock Gorger or Talid Omnivore, please. Okay, green white. So this is probably gonna go really white. Okay, so I'm gonna offer the trade. It's gonna take the one damage. He's not gonna trade this off because he knows he can hit back on the crackback. Or trade to the Cross and Druid, which is probably a better trade for him. I might be willing to take the damage. See what he plays next. He's playing something now. Now the idea of avoiding Multani in that pre last game, that one was kind of reminiscent of 
it was actually it's actually reminiscent of a historical strategy. Basically, when they were fighting against Napoleon pre Waterloo, actually this was actually close to Waterloo at that point. Their idea was Napoleon was the unbeatable one. His generals were very very beatable. So their idea was we're just going to ignore Napoleon. So basically, whoever faced Napoleon was going to delay him for as long as possible. Then they would just beat his gen their, his re other generals in other fronts. The problem with being the only smart guy is unless you pass your genius on to other people, you're not gonna keep up. So we're at least making mana. So that's eight. Pl play the omnivore first at least. Opponent might make a sapperling. Probably won't. At least not want to block these guys. He'll pro he'll probably make one end of turn. Opponent seems to be stuck on mana this time. Mental note: check your mana. Yep. Right. This one really reminded me how much I miss Sapperlings. We were kind of expecting them in Guilds of Ravnica, but no, nope, did not happen. Opponent's really in trouble now. He might be bluffing a combat trick, but let's get it out of the way, I guess. Just keep swinging for defenses. I, I might not even, I'm gonna try to hold back the Bailout Gorger. Okay. Yeah, we'll just trade. If he has a pump spell, I'll just sack the skin witch right then and there. Gift of growth. Sack. So I still get through for 8. It's not like he was gonna lose the sapperling anyway. Something's really... This cannot be a okay. He had some instants, but this could not be a hand of four drops. Up. That's really scary. In fact, if he's not playing any creatures, I'm just gonna swing to the stronghold confessor and do nothing. He might have a seal away. Okay, I guess he doesn't. And let's kick this one at least. considering our opponent's um, handle is so much luck. Well, if it's so much luck for us, um, thank you. So we're currently at four wins. Last one's really sc The problem with victory is that it doesn't make you stop to think. I still have not checked my mana, my mana base. Well, at least we have a turn one play, turn two backup, turn three play. I'll definitely keep this. So, lead off with Confessor. Please don't have Fungal Infection. That would be annoying. Fungal Infection, Sheev, and Fire. Those things will kind of... Okay, it's blue, so it doesn't have those. I'll play the green just in case. No need to run the Gift of Growth immediately. We're not under any pressure. Okay, there's red. Okay. Hmm. We might be... We are in time for a turn 4 Josu. Have to be careful though. There is Syncopate. In fact, I am assuming Syncopate mana here. So I'm gonna sacrifice the Deathbloom Talon. Syncopate this guy away because I'd rather you Syncopate this than the next guy. So that's perfectly fine. Is he trying to bait us with another syncopate? That's the question. I'll just play the Crows and Druid. Ok, 
thinking. Okay, so it's not syncopate. He's not stuck either. He definitely has mana now. He's doing literally nothing. You know what? I'm not gonna play anything. I'm gonna wait it out. I'm in no real rush per se. This could not be a handful of 5 drops. This could be a handful of lands though. He's made every land drop so far. He's playing fight with fire. X equals 5. Mm. He's forced to play it. We're forced to annoy him. Okay, we can Torgar. This costs 8. I can sacrifice the, one of these creatures. Probably not. Let's just wait. Because I could just cast him for the full 8. No, it's a bit... Pon okay, opponent's now starting to ditch. So I'm actually going to still do nothing. If he's trying to demonstrate he has a hand of 5 and 6. Okay, there's the wizard's lightning. That's okay. He's trying to. He's now catching back. I think he was hoping for me to drop something big. Well, I can hit for 4. If I still had the gift. I'm actually 2 mana shy of kicking. Play the Spore Crown Talid. Let's see, I'm trying to think if there's a huge burn spell. Fire Intervention is what I can think of. So I'm just gonna end the turn there. My other fear is in Bolas' clutches. That's the one thing that will really catch up. He's at 4 mana. He definitely has something. He's forced to discard the Cold Water Snapper, but he definitely has more. Got to have a fifth land at this point. He freeze. Okay. He's now playing his removal. He was probably hoping I'd play something big. Let's trade. He's gonna have to start using burn, sp burn spells or not. So, okay, slow down. This is your fourth win, fifth win, fifth, fifth. No, yeah, fifth win. So, let's check our mana. Ten seven. Yeah, this one, this is not right. And the reason is because we have a lot of early drops too. So as much as we have a lot of green early, we kind of want, we don't need that much double green. In fact, we only need the double green here and here. So, and a lot of these two drops are actually responsive. Like Ancient Animus is a responsive spell. Arbor of Armament is a responsive spell. Gift of Growth is responsive. So we not, not, too, not quite into, not quite into 10 green, seven, sw seven black territory just yet. I knew something was not right. It's a, it's a wonder that we managed to get this far. And okay, so turn two, Elf Elfheim Druid. Need to draw a land to at least get into Omnivore range. So but I'm definitely keeping this one because we have two turn two plays. So at least we have something. Knight of New Benalia. 
Okay, got our second. We don't need double swamps until turn four, so I'm definitely. No, I probably should have played that if I needed to do turn three Josu Vest, but probably not gonna pull it that early. There's still plenty of removal that could happen. I'm gonna play the spore spore crown talent first. That's the one I'm more willing to. We are not quite into swing with every sapling plan, so we're going to just trade if we can. So we have a trapper, sure. Okay, let's, let's play elf. Let's play our elf him druid. Definitely need to start playing a swamp at this point, so I'm not holding up armor armament because I'm not I have no plans of blocking. It's actually gonna just ramp, so he's he doesn't have any lands here at this point. So we're still getting flooded on green, but that's okay. So I will play the talent omnivore. So I So I could arbor armament it to a 4-4 at least. So pass. It's not blocked. Because I have two options. I can s s add them at will. That will... Okay, it's a 5-5. Five, five. It will... It'll die anyway no matter what I do. So, you know... Wait. I can't cast that. Not enough mana. Yeah, let it resolve. So, at least for... of grace sure so we will play the fungal plots so I know our elves that's okay let's gonna swing with these two I'm gonna try and see if I can take one out dub Okay, let's resolve that. So I can oh wait wait. I think I can take this out. So kicker. So I'll we'll tap that. Pump it. Untap it. Pass. Block. There. Got rid of one creature. So Okay, so my turn. Let's make a and to just be extra annoying. I could I could not save it for this one because that's hexproof from black. So we're starting to hit back, but we're still taking damage. I guess I could sack this to draw a card. There's the black mana we need. And let's make another sap. So we are at six, virtual eight. Kinda need another black mana source. And another land, so pass on that. Close and druid, at least he's not kicking it. He's not in a hurry. Well, we got that. So I guess we can wait. So let's see if we can hold the... How long can we hold the fort down? Cannot let the Elfheim Druid die. Wait, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... No, no. 6, 7, 8, 9... Oh, I need one more after... I need one more, so I need to hold off for two turns. Uh, okay. I can play Arbor Armament to... Okay...
No, he can just take the sap out, so that doesn't matter. Wait, I could wait to see how he orders it. If he blocks with this... Oh, I think he ordered it so the Elfin takes it first. Please no response. Please no response. I think we might have slipped. Oh shoot, he has a response! Gift of growth. Gift of growth. He had the response. Oh well. That was, that was worth a shot. So I guess... Five, six, seven. Yeah, I got way too cute. I just needed to wait longer. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's too long. I, I have. The dream is dead. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna try to race on the ground, but I take it back. I'm not racing anytime soon. This is not gonna happen. So yeah, we we had our chance. We tr we tried it, but it did not pan out. Mm. Yeah, at this point we're just gonna keep taking stuff in the air. And this is not a format with settle the wreckage. So yeah, we royally goofed up. And there's the dub too, so five. Yeah, that's good game. Can't block. So we got way too greedy for our own good, but the odds of us catching up was still kind of unlikely. Well, it is what it is. Can't complain too much. So there's our first loss. I still think our mana base is correct. Is there anything we could have done? Divest would be handy. Demonic Vigor, no, it's a bit slow. Pierce the Sky Mainboard, not necessarily. I guess this is actually quite good as it is, so we'll just leave it at that. Probably run the Adventurous Impulse is um, something I wonder if I should run or not. The concern there being that you might... That it helps you dig near near the end game. Early game it helps you dig. It also helps helps them keep certain lands better. But what exactly are trading out for it? So we're still getting double green, but can't complain about this one. At least we have a turn two sapling migration, so we we got that. I am really starting to think there should be more swamps than forests. Latello candles, yeah sure. So if I can draw two running swamps, I can I can play Torgar. Um, no two running swamps here, but and we're probably gonna and this is really a bad keep. We might be able to kill some sort of one drop. Well, we're running out of time and options. I don't think we're gonna carry this for ten turns. Has to have something at this time. He has five mana now. Now it's spider. Okay, we'll hold back now. No point playing ancient animals. We got a sparring construct at least. So there's something. So I can throw the sparring construct under the bus. Ooh. Opponent's gonna start chaining things up. Okay, still missing the land train. So I guess I'm gonna take damage next turn. If we're lucky our opponent plays some sort of two drop, we can sacrifice no, something with two toughness, we can sacrifice the 
opponent is not going to sacrifice Tatiova, which is very, which is a good call. Manor Scout will let that resolve. Definitely not going to be able to kill that. Four mana. Not the colors we need. We could sack this one, but it only gets us creature cards. Not so we are in real trouble. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually make an adjustment further. This might be an overreaction, but... Actually, if you think of it... A lot of our kicker is double black. Our green kickers don't need black at all. So we probably should actually make the black... We should actually have more black than green. So, pass the turn. Yuck. So I'm gonna discard. Uh, gonna discard the stronghold. Con I'm gonna discard this. Yeah, I just discarded it. Could have discarded the skin, which I guess. So we're definitely gonna make an adjustment. Is this gold? No, I think this. No, it's silver one. I think. Song of Raelis. Okay, so it's making even more mana. Hoping he Verdant Force. Yeah, not gonna not gonna win this one at all. Still wondering if I'm gonna ever draw into black mana. Let's see. Nope, did not draw into black mana. So yeah, I'm gonna make another adjustment to mana. We might not so we did have a good nice run of five wins, but it looks like we stalled short. Oh well. Let's see. Oh he's milling him Ooh, this guy oh yeah, he was tree color. Wait, no, I did not he's, he's actually playing the swamp now. Thing. Sure. I'm not gonna bother blocking it at this point. Yeah, this Eldest Reborn. No. Let's take one separate. Well, he might need. He might have a. He might have a quest, so I'm just gonna send that in. Well, he's kind enough to at least let me take a. To deal a hit. So, okay. Yeah, don't worry. There's no settled wreckage mana anywhere. So oh, that was a really bad keep. We're gonna we're gonna adjust the mana one more step. Yeah, watch, watch me go back down to silver four. At least that's the lowest I can go now. So can't complain too much about that. So gonna drop this down to there nine seven. Might be a bit overkill, but I think it's bet. But I think it's better. Because all my er all my good early drops are black anyway. Um, half of my green early drops are responsive, so they they don't exactly quite count. I could afford to draw the green source later. So I guess it um tells us not to that can't just take it for granted. Okay, so this is better. 
turn one stronghold confessor need another land to get anything else done beyond that but we have both our colors and we have and it's, and it's reasonable enough I guess we got two for the only the worst thing we could draw is a five is one more five drop another four drop I think another four drop and another six drop those are the only so three of the cards here are bad draws for us everything else should be okay fungal infect Okay, no fungal infection, and we have a turn tree play now. Don't know if we can still win this, but... Okay, opponents in double black. It's got nothing. Okay, I guess I'll play the Death Bloom Talad first. He's holding something back. If it's a cast down, sure. Cast this down. Vicious offering, sure. Go that, that's perfectly fine too, I guess. Pro he's probably not too keen on either option, but... Then again... Okay. Well, I guess the cast down is an option. If he was willing to do that early, that means... No, it could still mean he has a play. C could just... He could just be removal heavy at this point. So next... I'm gonna let him burn stuff out first. He might have a Radiating Lightning next turn, so that's a bit scary. But I s I'm still gonna play the Cross and Druid anyway. Yeah, this was the one card I did not want to draw at this point. We'll see. Does he have another cast down? No, it's Wizard's Lightning. Yeah, sure, that's okay. So opponents should start catching. We'll start catching up at this point. At least we got rid of two burn spells. What would I play first? Probably the Baylot Gorger. Rampage Cyclops. I guess we're playing Fungal Plots. And we're swinging with this guy because uh, we can. We're gonna take four damage, so that's a that's the bad beat. So in one hit, he d does more damage than we've ever done. Dread Shade, so it's a tree tree that can pump. Okay, we got our mana. We're gonna have to let the Dread Shade through, unfortunately. So I'm playing the ba Baylot Gorger first. The Fiery Intervention is gonna be. Fiery Intervention now is gonna hurt us a lot. At least. Okay, so it's not, not yet anyway. If he attacks, I'm definitely blocking the Cyclops. Oh, he's only attacking with the Shade. He can hit us for 6. So definitely, we don't have enough to kill it. I can just throw the sapling away now. I, not, no. If you're, not if you're gonna hit me for six, hit me for six. Now. Okay, no, he isn't. He's gonna hit for three. He's got the Argo. So we got ancient animus. We could kind of elim eliminate the Dread Shade. Mm, probably not. Actually, I'm going to pass. Probably should be careful with that. <coughs> it's okay, so he's got potential 7 damage. Uh, sorry sorry about that. Can't get the fingerprint to work. So win a share of 2 million when you shake your Gcash. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the day. Wonder what I could buy if I do get 2 mil. <laughs> I'm also wondering what our opponent's gonna do now. Definitely gonna swing with the Dread Shade. That guy will survive. So...
So he's swinging with that. So I'm gonna start. S so I'm gonna block with just one, but I'm gonna end up sacking both anyway. I do need the mana more than he does, so thankfully there's no trample. I could also just bail out Gorge or Yargo, get it over with, but there's a Torgar. So I guess, yeah, let's just make another one now. So, got our fifth mana. Not quite there yet. I would like to get at least a grunt so I can eliminate the rampaging Cyclops that way. So, let's see our options. Because I can Torgar all of these guys now. I'll have a 7 6, but nothing else to show for. I could play Talid Omnivore now, but I won't be able to sack anything to it. I'll probably just throw the Stronghold Confessor in front of this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna just cast a Talon on the board now. Have something. Basically, I have extra options because I know what I'm gonna throw in. I know what I'm throwing in front of the Dread Shade next turn. Opponent's also not keen on attacking with these guys. He knows I can take them out. Kind of used those spells too early. He should have held. Maybe he could have held back later. He did have the bigger creatures. What did he eliminate? Deathloom Talon, Frozen Druid. So we'll have 5 mana next turn so we can cast Mammoth Spider. I could use a 6 just to get Grun. Never mind the Kicker. Because as, as, as long as I attack with this guy alone, this one's... It's, it's still a 10-10. Ten <laughs> 10 then Ancient Animus. I can take out the Dread Shade comfort, com comfortably at least. Opponent's Tink probably has a Fire Intervention at this point. No, killed an Overseer. He's gonna take our Bailout Forger. So, take damage appropriately. So, we'll take... Okay, swinging it all. So, I'm gonna... I have to block Yargo. Uh, hold on. I am not joining. So, let's see. I can... So, I'll take 8. No, wait. I'll take seven. So my board is not quite empty. Okay, I can ancient. I can actually ancient animus boat. Get rid of both of them. But hmm. I'm gonna ancient animus one because. Okay, I'm not gonna attack because I do have enough I do have creatures to fungal plots now. I can double block this guy already. If he tries to go for a kill spell, I will ancient animus to kill the rampaging cyclops. So somehow I survived. Definitely gonna use Torgar on myself. Though I do need more mana. Probably just do Grun first anyway. Tapping mana enough. If he's going for Keldon Overseer number two, I can at least fungal plots. Okay, no, he's buying cards back. That's okay. So what what did he buy back? Keldon Overseer and Dread Shade. If he casts Dread Shade, I'm just gonna kill it again. There you go. But I'm gonna In fact, I want him to attack first. Okay, he's not attacking. Oh well. So 
So I need one more mana. Okay, here's the thing. I need... Because I know he can kill an Overseer. It's 8 damage. So no, so that's 7 incoming. I need to have another creature. There's no way around it. Overseer is quite good when you get to this mana. When I get to that mana... Hopefully I still have a creature left. I'm willing to just Torgar. Because by that point, my life total will be really low. I sincerely was hoping he would attack. Then again... Okay, Calibu Skin Witch... And knock two cards off my hand, so... I'm gonna just knock the Arbor Armament and the Torgar now. Because if I don't draw mana, that's basically Fungal Plots right there. Okay, I did draw mana. So I could do Grun. Wait, if he takes that... No, he knows this is in hand. He could force me to discard that, but that's okay. So I'm gonna pass the turn again. Sure, I'm saying he can, that's okay. To, considering this is my last big... Um, this is my last big creature, so it's not really okay, but... At this point, I need... I need to start pl playing something out here. So I have enough mana to make three saplings. Oh, he's got his own Torgar. Okay. No death touch at least. He's gonna He's gonna take the hit himself, that's okay. Okay, so he's he's not biting. So, take a walk. Give me a sec. I don't think I have any more combat tricks anyway, so... Okay, Gift of Growth is a combat trick. Hmm. Okay, let's say I cast Grun. He casts this, he takes my Grun. He swings with everything. This doesn't have trample. Yeah, it's safe for me to cast this one now. Because I can block with these guys. I can sack as needed. I'll gain two life at, off the exchange. Let's hope he doesn't have a kill. S well. I think he's gonna go for Keldon Overseer over a kill spell. He's gonna go for his best chance to win. If he keeps holding back next turn, I'm just casting get. Next turn, I'll just swing with Grun. He cannot hold back anymore. He definitely cannot hold back anymore. He's just told me that he has nothing. Well, not quite nothing. He told me that that's all he has left. He's probably debating what to take. Uh, technically, this is the obvious take. Hmm. I I will be honest. It's easier from my point of view, but my opponent can't see a lot of things. So it's harder for his side. He's dead. Yeah, so it's it's also easy to get scared. So he's gonna swing with everything. 
So let's make the necessary blocks. The thing is, none of these guys have tramples. So let's go to blocks. One, two, three, four. So damage, going to damage. Now the blocks have been set. So set this and this. He is forced to block. I can wait actually. I don't have to do anything now. Because I have I can hold on to gift of growth if he, if he does something funny. Oh he's conceded. We sur we survived the long stretch. Woo! So we're now down to the very last game. It's I'm quite happy nonetheless, but we're down to the home stretch. Uh, one bonus pack at 40%. Sure it's 40, it's not that great. Let's see if we can get that seventh win. Yeah, at least we got the mana fixed down right. Fixed path down. Okay, so we have a turn one play, n n ton of two turn three plays, but no turn two plays. So I got two turns to draw into a land. At least I got something. And I have both my colors. That's important. So I'm more likely to keep this one. That said, this is risky. This this is not without risk. There is no guarantee I'm going to draw a third land in a timely fashion. The other thing is, I only kind of need one land, so there's that benefit. Because I, at least I'm not forced to curve into turn three, turn four. I can do turn, I can do turn three, have another play turn three, but it's all contingent in me drawing something. If I don't draw anything, a, a land next turn, that's not good. And the odds of me drawing land is less than half. Got 15 lands left out of 30. It's actually not that great also because one of those lands is a memorial to unity. Well, thank goodness I didn't draw that. So, this doesn't get menace, but I will have to... I'll play the Death Moon Talon. Actually, you have to think of the odds based on what you have left. So, there's 14 out of 31, so... Odds of me drawing another land next turn is still less than half. And our opponent is really fast. I might have to hold both these guys back now. Well, alternately... Yeah, this is past the turn. I didn't draw the land, but I did draw something. If he plays another enchantment, I can't do anything around it. He knows we're trading at this point. He is probably going to play an enchantment. I think it's... Knight's Pledge? No, up. Oh, okay, he's draw trying to draw into a land. He might not even attack at this point. He might not even... Um, play something at that. Okay, play the land. Does he have a counter? Okay, he's not going to attack. So that's okay. Still missing lands. We need at least four damage, so... I mean, I'm not gonna do anything funny. I'm just gonna... Next. Next. Attack. And just play close and Druid. I probably should have played it first, though. This could be syncopate for one. Opponents at four. We need... Add the Liz, that's kind of okay. Just let's keep swinging in the air, I guess. Nice thing is we can Ancient Animus her out of the air. 
We might have to do that. I'm not gonna wait. So we're still swinging. We just we finally got below the ex the pad the life padding from Navigator's compass. Thankfully, we have enough two and three drops so that it's not hurting us com quite completely. Still need the second black, though I'm not enthused with that. I only need to sacrifice two, maybe just these two guys, I guess. Pony should have something at this point. This Goblin Chain Worlder would be really bad. And he virtually has to mana cast it. Oh, killed an Overseer. Couldn't quite wait. Uh, I have to, I have to make the trade. Because I can at least I can still block this one at least. Yeah, I have options to block at least. So not there yet, but I do need the mana, so I have to cast Elfheim Druid. I'm gonna swing its stronghold. Hold back the Saprolink. This is gonna be slow going. Okay, so I got four mana next turn. It's a virtual five, not enough for any of these. Cloud Reader Sphinx is a problem. Yeah, I need to gain life fast. So I need running lands. So technically I'm at 14 out of 27. Odds of me drawing a land next turn is 66%. Still not there, but I can at least kick this guy. Do I kick or talent omnivore? I kind of want to kick. I can swing with this guy for at least. He, well, he's not gonna block it for sure. It, it was my my hope he would um double block. At least I could get rid of the Keldon Overseer. It's not in his interest to simplify because he has few. He has more creatures than I do. No, he has fewer creatures than I do. Still, without a good kill spell, I'm in real trouble. I'm probably if I need draw black man, I'm gonna use Torgard to buff my life total up. Okay. okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Virtually it's six. Can't kick that though. I have to play this one at least. Please don't tell me you have syncopate. Wait, if he has syncopate, I can tap. I can pay it anyway. <laughs> that, that's a lifesaver. Fungal plots would be quite nice too. Let's see. Syncopate X1. Yes. Mm, not P1. So I can't buff it. I'm gonna off I'm gonna keep offering trades, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four. If I can get one more mana. Five, six, seven. No, that's an eight. Oh no, it's gonna bounce. Okay. Well, I wasn't gonna be able to sack anyway. So I'm gonna. I can go down to six. Or go down to four. Gonna go down to six. It's a bit risky. If I can draw one more mana. Okay, got the black mana. So now here's the question. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is eight, so I have to sacrifice one creature. Probably the sapperling.
So, still alive. Barely. So, let's swing with that one. Hopefully, he doesn't have any more bounce spells. He's just gonna keep chipping on the air, I assume. If I can draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One more man I can kick to. I can get a safe life total. Otherwise, I'm just gonna strip the cards off his hand. Uh, her hand, maybe. Go down to seven. He freeze. I can still block. So that's something. And let's see. Yep, loses all ability, so I go down to four. So one more land to at least give me a cushion. Two journey mage. Go down to two. One more land. What are the odds? Oh, okay. Actually, six lands at 24. Right, so six, 11, 24. Yeah, it's close to 50. A little less than 50. So, what? Six, seven, eight. Yeah. So we have to. We have no choice but to kick that. Elfim Druid, I'm um, doing all the work. So I'm gonna take three, six, nine. No, I can. I'll trade with one. So basically, my plan now is to just start chipping in damage. Next turn, I can grun, no kicker. I could actually just talid, talid omnivore also. So. I'll trade these two. So down to six. One. He might have a burn spell, in which case it's all over. So here's the option. I can try to strip this card, get get that ma math out of the way. But I need blockers. This one's just gonna die. I'm just gonna play Omnivore and Skin Witch. And have mana to and have mana keep that alive. End the turn. So we're going down the wire. Another wizard's lightning is game over. He's not gonna swing with everything. He's gonna swing with that. So I'll pass, because I can't do anything about that. Did I play both ancient? No, I only played one. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Not enough mana. So let's see. I can hit him for one, three, four, five. He has to block this. Technically, it's game over for me now. I have no saplings to sack. Give him to sack. I can memorial to unity. Try to grab something, but doesn't quite help. Yeah, it won't help. My only hope is to literally attack with these guys. I needed a pump spell. That would have been great, but I didn't get it. So he's gonna have to block. Okay, he made the correct block. Yeah, that was a good game. I could have kicked it at least for the lulls, but... Yeah. Very good game. That's everything out there. I managed to survive long enough thanks to Torgar and a kick cross and Druid. But that was the most I was gonna get. So, oh well. Not quite 7 tree, but... We did get very close, so I'm actually quite happy with this one.
I'll get to Silver Tree one day. Mark my... Okay, maybe not mark my words. So let's claim our prize. And the game was kind enough to give us two packs. Thank, thank you, Watsy. Even though I did not do anything. So let's crack these packs, but... That's it for this episode of the Magic Arena Run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to... Oh, thank you for the Mythic. I really needed that. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a notification. Yeah, needed that. Did not need that. And please let me know how I did. I really apologize that things are going a little bit out of order, but things are quite busy this season. Will this card actually get good now that we have all guild gates coming out soon? Probably not. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again next time.